babes welcome back to the channel today we are going to be reviewing sensational butter lace unit in the style 34 and the color is chunky highlight blonde so straight out of the pack she is a beautiful unit um super bouncy i love the way they place the coloring it's not too much of each color i think i'm feeling it um, this is a middle part unit. You cannot part anywhere else. Um, I am going to open up the wig so you guys can see inside. So inside there is a middle part and of course you have your two combs up top and you have one in the back. And they did place an elastic band in the inside um, for more security. As usual, I'll be going in with my E-band lace tint in the color medium brown. If you guys have been here for a while, you know this is all I use to tint my lace. I am going to spray that on the lace and then blow dry it dry. Also, if you are new, I do not do the ball cap method. I feel like there's no need to with these synthetic wigs. So I just normally just put a black stocking cap on and that's pretty much it for the base of my wig. So once that is all dry, we are going to put her on. And this is another unit that is very, very small. Um, I did have a little trouble getting it on my head. So just take that into accountability when you are purchasing that the cap is really small. I think I'm maybe a 21, 22 circumference. So if you're looking to buy this, it is small. The cap is small. I know a lot of people do not like the combs that come in the wigs. They some say they hurt, um, but I feel like when I place it underneath that stocking cap, that it gives just gives me more security and it helps lay the wig down flat. But if the cap is very small, it is very hard to put those combs where you want them in the front.
What I've noticed about these smaller wigs is that the ear tabs are not as big. And what I mean by that is like these wigs do not have a lot of lace on the sides. So you want to be careful because you may cut too much off and then the sides may be a little too high up above your ears. So just keep that in mind. This spray but it is the only spray I've been using so far it's the red by kiss lace adhesive and um, I'm just spraying it across my hairline and I'm gonna blow dry that and then cut the lace
so once the lace is all cut we are going to go in with the melting spray by Eben does a good job um i feel like it holds my wig in place for about a week because i normally be ready to snatch these wigs off after i'm done with it but <laughs> if i'm going somewhere or if i'm wanting to keep the wig on this really has done a good job with keeping my wig on for a long time Now, after blow drying it, do y'all see what I mean? That's coming out of my scalp. <laughs> it really is. But there are some places that were missed on the side. So, after I define my part, I am going to go back and spray a little bit more on the sides. Just to make sure they're down. But, for the most part, I really, really love this spray. And of course, we're going to throw some baby hairs in there because why not? And I have never been a baby hair girl, but I feel like I've been really doing amazing with these baby hairs on these units. I'm surprised. I'm shocking myself. And I feel like they look really, really cute if you do them right. So, yeah, um, we're going to be putting more baby hairs in these units that I'll be doing. I'm going to clip the two pieces that I separated for the baby hairs. Um, I am learning to cut them a little bit shorter this time because I noticed that when I cut them a little longer and I curl them, I always have that extra hair on the end that will not lay down. I don't know if I'm not curling it right. I don't know. But I told myself next time I'm just going to cut them a little bit shorter than normal. So that way I won't have an issue. And then I'm going in with my small curling iron and just curling the baby hairs. Next, I'm going in with my Got To Be Styling Gel in the black bottle. Um, I haven't used anything else for my edges. 
And I found that this work along with that black uh, lace spray that I used before, these two are the best products for these edges because this gel holds the curl, I feel, and then the lace spray gives it the hardness it needs to stay in place. so that I can define my part and um, detangle the hair. As always, I'm using the Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation in the color 15, and I'm gonna be using the lighter shade to define my part. Then I'm going to begin detangling the hair. Um, I felt like this hair wasn't easy to manage. Um, it's not really on the silky side as the rest of the wigs are. It's normally like maybe a slight kinky texture. I would say there were a lot of flyaways, which I didn't like. But for the most part, this was cute. And yes, she does shed as um, any synthetic unit does. Um, if I could rate it maybe uh, from a scale of 10, I will say she says maybe a 5. Which is really good because I've had a few synthetic wigs that straight out the bag, we got a whole glob in our hand. So that's decent. And also lengthwise, she's a little bit under my boob, so probably almost to my hips in length. Um, I am 5'6", so you guys can do the measuring. Um, but I am going to go back in with my hot comb just to flatten the top. Because we ain't finna be walking around with no mountaintop wig. We ain't doing that, okay? <laughs> I'm going to remove the band because the edges should be dry at this point and it's looking real good um i am going to go back in and put a little bit more ruby kisses on my ear tabs around my ear tabs just to make sure if i'm getting caught in the wind my sides ain't looking crazy so we just gonna touch it up touch up a few places a little bit and We'll be all done with here shortly.
say this one ate, she ate down, baby. Okay? Uh, but thank y'all for watching. And I hope y'all return. And for the people that have been rocking with me since the beginning. Thank you. Um, as, and as always, I like to do a close-up after I record. Just so you guys can see like how it looks in real time. But thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video.